Like I was saying before I was really interrupted by my camera stopping the recording. <laughs> and yeah, don't mind my pimple patches on my face. They're on there for the time being and I'm just going to leave them alone, okay? Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nadia and in today's video, I'm just coming on here because I want to chit chat with you guys for a second to give y'all some encouragement from somebody who still has a growing YouTube channel but is monetized because I feel like this is a video that I needed when I, before I started my journey, really. Um, I had, I, I'm in a YouTube group on Facebook and the girl asked if like for people to give pointers that are that they have been on youtube that are monetized xyz and all this stuff and so i left her a comment which is it was on july the 16th um black girls who blog plus youtube so this was my comment so it was pretty long and i was like you know what i need to talk about this on my youtube channel because i know there are a lot of people who want to start a channel or people who have started i think she hadn't started yet she was about to start so this is what she was asking people like for pointers encouragement whatever and so like i said i know a lot of people that want to start a channel or have started a channel and people are thinking about like if they should and all this kind of stuff first off if it's something that you want to do do it don't come on worrying about I guess the money and all of the stuff that comes with it just start it don't sit back and say well I want to do it but well I want to do it but I want to do it but I don't have the equipment all of these different I want to do it but if you want to do it just do it I mean if you're figure out the reason why you're wanting to do it and do it for that reason if nothing else um, if you're getting on here, of course, everybody eventually wants their channel to monetize and they want to make money off of it if it's something they really love doing. Of course, I get it. But if that's all you're going to focus on when you start, you are going to you're going to start off in a bad way because you're going to start off stressing yourself out because unless you're one of the lucky ones or the blessed ones that their channel comes out, takes off off of a video or two videos or whatever the case may be however these people blow up and become overnight successes and they monetize after like two videos if you're not one of those people which I was not then you're gonna be aggravated if that is the reason why you're starting if you're coming on thinking about money you're gonna be annoyed when your channel does not take off like other people's has in the past for whatever reason and then equipment let's talk about equipment if you don't have first of all starting youtube i would not run out and buy a bunch of equipment because you have to make sure that it's something that you want to do and it's something that you're going to want to stick to because the stuff is expensive youtube is time consuming so you don't want to run out and buy a two thousand dollar camera a two thousand dollar computer all the accessories all the lights all the xyz and then don't decide you don't even want to do it because you can't figure out how to edit or your quality you can't figure out how to get your quality where you want to get it to or so many different things that you can't figure out so now you're ready to quit after you spent all of this money all you need is your phone something you already have we all have them use your phone record on your phone edit on your phone everything is perfectly fine on your phone like if you want to get a, like a microphone to maybe feel like okay I want my sound to be clearer something small like that because you can find those pretty cheap for like twenty dollars i don't really think you need it because when i was recording on my phone i didn't need a microphone i bought two different types of microphones one for my camera one for my my collar all of these things and i do not use a microphone because i feel like my sound quality is okay i guess good enough right now i guess doesn't it sound normal to you guys y'all are right here so i know y'all can hear me <laughs> but, so yeah start with your phone you can do every single thing on your phone i of course have a camera and a laptop now i was one of those who ran out and bought my laptop when i started because i did not i was like well i know what i need to be able to use my eye movement so i need this laptop and i had the money so i ran out and bought it bought it and then my fiance at the time bought my camera so when i started i started with with a camera and a laptop but i'm telling you guys you do not need that because i started with the camera and a laptop but i ended up not even using my camera because the way it looked i didn't care for it because it does you no good to have this expensive camera if you don't even know how to do the settings on it 
and that was me. So I had this Canon when I started the first time I had a Canon T3i brand spanking new camera. I didn't know how to do the settings on it but like I was saying I had this camera that I got as a gift. It was a Valentine's Day gift because he knew I wanted to start YouTube way back then. It's been 10 years. Um, so I didn't know how to change the settings on the camera. So the quality that I was getting from the camera is not I still have the camera and I'm still I had somebody look at it and check it out and I'm still gonna try to use the camera like for my sit down videos I bought so much stuff to go with the camera microphone I bought a lens I didn't buy it back then but now I have a microphone for it I have a lens for I, all these things I bought and I still can't use the camera because I do not know what I'm doing with the camera now the ZV-1 that I have right now this one comes already programmed ready to go all you have to do is like if you want to change a few of the simple settings on there like I've changed some stuff on there turned it to 4k did things like that but on that Canon I couldn't do nothing so it's sitting collecting dust since I got it then like I said the laptop I went and got that because I was like, okay, I need this like on my camera. I need this laptop because I need iMovie to edit. Didn't even consider the fact that iMovie is on the phone. I didn't want to use my phone because I was being hard-headed. And the type of person that I am, I feel like I got to have every single thing the perfect way or else it's not going to work. And y'all, I'm telling y'all right now that it's not true. Because when I got sick and tired of using that camera, I said, you know what, forget this. I'm going to use my phone. And for the longest, I used my phone for months. And if y'all scroll down, y'all can tell that I switched from that camera to my phone. You can tell. And then it's funny because I don't ever like run to upgrade my phone. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all, what are iPhones at right now? 14 something? I got an 11. So my phones are normally way behind whatever the new phone is I don't switch it until my phone gives out the last phone I had I didn't get rid of it until I got to the point that I couldn't talk on it I couldn't hear regularly I would have to talk on speakerphone and nobody wants to do that nobody wants to be around somebody who's constantly talking on the phone on speakerphone so by that time I was like Nadia okay it's finally time for you to get that phone to rest and get you a new phone <laughs> so if y'all are updated your phone quality is is good and all this stuff use your phone learn how to edit on your phone now that is one thing that i never did do i didn't learn how to edit on my phone because i didn't have to because i have i've had a macbook since i started youtube or whatever but if you don't want to do all the extra like i did trust me you do not have to have that stuff i've always had lights because i've been, i've been doing makeup for forever way before the youtube i was even thought about i've been doing makeup for a long time so i've always had really good lights um, because I needed them for my makeup. Just having lights in my house, I wear glasses. Wasn't good enough. I couldn't see. So I have always invested in lights or whatever. So I'm telling y'all now, use your phone to record and edit. Get you a good light. A ring light is perfectly fine. I'm telling y'all, until y'all get to the point that you want to start, you know, getting soft boxes and trying to mute out this and soften this, all the extra stuff these people know about. Till you get to that point, get your ring light. Everybody at this point is on social media. I feel like everybody has all this stuff that they may be content creating on, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, people just taking pictures. Everybody has ring lights. So I'm going to go over the stuff that I spoke about um, on the girls' post because I feel like I have some different views on YouTube and I'm saying that through the experience that I had now had I not felt this way would my YouTube channel have went faster I don't know I guess I'll never know because I did it this way because I was like slow and steady wins the race I don't want to jump out there and rush doing all of the things people tell you you should do for reasons other than myself and me enjoying it and I'm not saying that like being selfish because like, of course I want you guys here. I want you guys to tune in. I want you guys to watch. But I also want you guys to enjoy the content that I put out. And in order for you guys to enjoy the content that I put out, I have to enjoy the content that I'm doing. I have to want to record. I have to want to film. I have to want to edit. I have to want to put on clothes to get in front of the camera. I have to be in a good mood to get in front of the camera. I can't get in. Imagine me getting in front of this camera. I mean, I got pimple patches on but whatever but imagine me getting in front of this camera looking a hot mess hair not combed all over my head 
Y'all can't never really see my clothes with my top anyway. But stank attitude because I'm annoyed that I got to record and I don't feel like it. Can you imagine somebody doing that? And that's because by that time, they're probably doing it because they have to and not because they want to. I want it to always be something that I want to do so that I'm enjoying doing the content, the content and so that I want to put the content out. So I don't feel like I work a eight to five. I don't want to feel like this, even though it could be because it's a job for a lot of people. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, you know, how you get it's time you go to work. You're like, I don't feel like going to work in the morning. I don't want to be like, I don't feel like recording. I don't want that. So I want to enjoy what I'm doing on here so that I don't ever want to feel like I don't feel like doing it. And I feel like that's what that's why I say come on here and record and enjoy what you're doing. So you don't ever get that. I don't feel like recording. Shoot. Now, I'm like you're being forced to do it for a check. We all want to check at the end of the day, but you still want to enjoy what you're doing. You still should enjoy what you're doing. Okay, so back to my list. All right, so the first thing I put on on there, I said, stay consistent. Posting once a week isn't enough when you're trying to grow. Listen, I was talking to 2020, or when did I start back? 2020, 2021? 2021? Not yet. Okay, because I was posting once a week because it was like, oh my God. How am I going to post any more than once a week? Where am I going to get these video ideas from? What am I going to do? I know it's video ideas out there, but I got to figure them out. What am I going <laughs> to... All over the place. Trying to make sure that I have a video every single week. And then I post it every single week. And I was like, I realized after a while, I was like, this once a week stuff. Like, my channel was growing, but it was growing not fast enough for me. Okay, I don't think, I don't think it was growing fast enough for me. But... I'm going to tell y'all, I was grinding. Even though I was only posting one video a week, I was still out here grinding, getting people to subscribe to my channel and all of this. I had no shame. I had no shame. Okay? I'm not saying that I was walking up to people in the public, uh, you know, pushy and being like that with them. I'm not saying that. But on my social media pages, I've always ran my, like, makeup stuff and lash stuff and all that stuff through my social media a lot of the people that are on my pages have requested me to be on requested me because of my makeup and stuff like that so with that in mind i was like well they don't hear from me <laughs> it's like a little delusional but i was like if these are people that are on my facebook page they are choosing to be here they have not deleted me so i'm gonna post all the time and if they don't like it they can delete me I'm going to post and I'm going to tag them because people tag me and stuff all the time. Like I wasn't tagging people like every single day, but I was tagging people and other people were tagging me too, for me too. And other people were sharing my stuff and saying this. Y'all, when I say this was an every single day thing that I was doing, I was getting it on my Facebook page. Because I'm thinking I'm constantly having to, to delete people off of here because of my max friends list. And I don't got a thousand subscribers yet. Like, what are y'all doing here? So I would go through and delete people and put new people on. But I was constantly, every single day, posting. Every time I would post a video, of course, I'm saying subscribe to my channel. I would, just, every now and then, I would tag random people that was just on my page. Every, I was getting it. I had no shame because I'm like, if you're on my page and you have not deleted me yet, then you're going to get the possibility that you might get tagged because <laughs> you're still here. I'm sure plenty of people probably deleted me, muted me, whatever the case may be, y'all. I did not care because I had tunnel vision. I had a vision that I wanted my channel monetized and I was going to get it without disrespecting or being crazy to people. I was going to get it. And me tagging people on Facebook or being afraid to was not going to be the thing that stopped me. If y'all are, I kept saying, if they're still on my page, that means they want to see something. So you're going to see something, all right. You're going to see this tag that says, subscribe to Nadia's YouTube. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> so number two, I need to stop backing out before I lose it. Number two, I, and I, this is what I feel like people are going to disagree on. And I'm going to explain to you. I, God, my phone is so loud. I'm going to explain to you why I say what I'm saying. Now, this worked for me. And from what I see, there are a lot of people on YouTube that doing it the way that I did it will possibly work for them also. And I'm going to give y'all an example 
of what I mean. So my number two was don't niche down too soon. I know that's the opposite of what everyone says, but unless you have a finance channel, by this I mean like a specific channel like that, niching down will possibly hurt you. I say it's finance because a lot of finance channels, I mean it's finance. People are coming on there specifically, this is what they want to talk about, and when people come on YouTube, they are specifically coming on there looking for financial advice. Um, credit channels, I noticed the same thing with them. Um, there are certain channels, I say those two right off the top of my head, because channels kind of like that, I feel like a lot of times, this is what their channel is. These things are going to grow their channels because these things are what people come on here all the time and are aggressive about trying to do. So if you're trying to build your credit or fix your credit, you're going to constantly be on YouTube all the time searching up credit videos. And if you're trying to change your finances, invest or whatever, you're going to constantly be aggressively on YouTube all the time searching those videos. So those types of channels to me are kind of product specific, okay? But when you have like a channel, for instance, like mine, beauty, lifestyle, fitness, things like that. If I would have came in and niched down, we'll say I started just doing makeup, okay? That's all I knew I wanted to do when I got on there. I just wanted to get on there and do my makeup, blah, blah. Now, would my channel have possibly taken off that way? I feel like it would have. How fast or slow? I'll never know because I didn't stick with YouTube to see. But niching down, like kind of how people say, like when it is hard for vlog channels to grow. Okay. Everything is not one size fits fits all. For instance, Peyton Charles, she's a vlogger. She started her channel vlogging. Okay. And I don't know how fast or slow Peyton's stuff started in the beginning. I know she was on there for a while or whatever, but I don't know how fast or slow her monetization her monetization process was. You know, I don't know, that's none of my business, but when I'm saying it, she grew her channel vlogging. But she has an amazing, funny personality. So everybody can do that, okay? I don't know if I would be able to have grown my channel like that just vlogging. Again, I don't ever know. I will never know because it's not something I did. But you have to have a certain type of personality or a certain lifestyle or something like that for people to want to constantly sit and watch you vlog all the time. And again, vlogging, that right there is something that I think is... Timing. Timing has up. YouTube is all about timing, okay? Timing one way or the other. With hers, she did hers vlog style and she blew up. Or whatever. But some types of videos, it could be timing. Like some of my videos has been timing. But again, like I was saying, certain niches you can get into and then your channels can blow up off of that. Like if you look at my videos, I have had so many different types. Of videos because I'm into so many different things. Um, anything I guess that you do consistently will eventually or possibly work out. So maybe if I would have tried vlogging, it would have worked out. Maybe if I would have stepped stuck with do clothing hauls all the time, it would work out. Maybe if I would have did cooking videos all the time, it would have worked out. Maybe if I would have did fitness videos all the time, it would work out. Maybe if I did lash videos all the time, it would work out. So I have all of these different things that I'm into on my channel. But it's like I wanted to just live my life and pick up the camera while doing it. And not only pick up the camera when I'm lashing or working out or doing hauls. And then you have to think about it. Some of these niches can be very expensive. Like if I'm constantly doing haul videos, that's very expensive to be buying clothes all the time. Perfume videos, it's very expensive to always be buying perfume. But here we are two years later and I'm starting to do perfume videos constantly. And my niche picked me. My niche, I'm not going to say... Let me rephrase that. Okay, my niche picked me, but I'm not only doing perfume videos. I'm still continuing to do all the type of videos on my channel that I've done previously. But what monetized my channel was me doing not only just perfume videos, but perfume layering videos. The videos that I post every Saturday are the videos that monetized my channel. Who would have ever known that two years ago? Out of all of the videos that I have done, the videos that I started posting on Saturdays monetized my channel. Like I said, if you do something enough, maybe it will work. 
but it's only been what a couple of months a few months that i've been doing it and i only do it on saturday so it's four times a month that i post those videos and those videos started getting so many views and i was so close to monetization but i was losing hours so many hours that i wasn't gaining enough hours to monetize my channel but when i started posting those videos i started gaining more hours than i was losing and boom i got monetized so had i niched down two years ago to one of the other things that I was doing. Who knows how I would have monetized my channel if or when I would have monetized because it took me two years of me doing videos and it took for me to start doing these perfume layering videos that I do in order for my channel to monetize. And I have this week's tray sitting right here below me because I just did. So I have missing perfumes and stuff from up there because they're down here because I just recorded Saturdays uh, which is tomorrow's layering video to post but so that's my point like if you do it too early you don't know what you what will work out for you but I don't know but the way I wanted to do my channel niche, niching down was not gonna work for my channel I feel like everybody has to make their decision on how they want to handle their channel because I don't think it's one size fits all I honestly don't you guys Number three, be patient. Don't compare yourself to others because your journey is not theirs and vice versa. This right here will have you sitting somewhere stressed out, aggravated, and ready to quit. Okay? When I tell you be patient, you guys, please be patient. That is what I mean by coming on here and actually enjoying what you're doing. Come on here and enjoy the videos. Enjoy recording for your audience. Enjoy spending time in front of the camera for your audience. Just enjoy that portion so that you're not getting impatient because you're sitting there like watching everything like when am I going to monetize? I need XYZ so I can monetize. Then, 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 so I can monetize. <laughs> monetize, monetize, monetize. <laughs> okay. If you're constantly doing that and then it doesn't happen when you feel like it should in your head by a certain time frame, you're going to be ready to quit. And God forbid when you go compare yourself to somebody else's channel, oh, Nadia was doing YouTube for this amount of time and her channel is monetized or Tyresha was doing YouTube for this amount of time only three months and she already monetized it, it don't do that to yourself trust me do not do that to yourself some people get it out the mud like I did you don't pay for subscribers don't pay for watch time don't pay for none of that stuff but trust me there are people that pay for subscribers watch time all of this different extra stuff there are people that do it and then there's these YouTube groups that you can get into. And these groups are supposed, you know, everybody in the group, you know, you're like, oh, I'm excited. These, I'm getting these groups because the people in here on YouTube too. So they understand it and they're going to watch my videos and they're going to subscribe and they're going to help grow my channel. And then you get in these groups and these people in these groups are trying to do the same exact thing that you're doing. So they are just as hungry as you are. So when they go subscribe to your channel, half of them are going to unsubscribe because they don't want all them subscribers on their channel. And now you mad because you subscribe to them and they subscribe to you. Then you woke up in the morning and they unsubscribe to you. And now you aggravated. Or are they supposed to be watching your videos and they not <sighs> now some of the groups work for people I see people get monetized because some of these groups but I, I joined them and I very very quickly saw how these groups operated and I said Ur! I'm not doing this I'm not doing this at all because it's gonna aggravate you people are gonna be mad because they want the same thing that you want they want their channels to monetize they want the subscribers they want the watch time so y'all are out there wanting the same thing but trying to get it from the people that want the same thing as you and it's not gonna always work like that you need to get it from the people who are not doing the same thing as you that's where your support is gonna come from people that are not trying to grow their channel people that are not trying to get watch hours because the ones that are Trust me, it's not going to work like you think. Y'all want the same thing in these groups. So y'all are in the same fight trying to get to the same destination. And everybody does not is not going to operate in honesty. Okay? And they're going to subscribe and stick to it. Everybody ain't going to do that. The stuff that I have seen with these people trying to get monetized is crazy. I'm telling you, just do it the natural way and just say forget it to the groups. I'm sorry, but the groups ain't it. Um... Four, it's gonna get ugly but decide today if you really want this and if you do stick to it no matter what the time frame looks like 
that was that's real and I was like some of this stuff I was saying this stuff because of how I was as I'm trying to grow my channel it got ugly but the whole time of course I got in I was like I'm gonna be monetized in this first year oh I can't like first year come you know I'm gonna get all my watch hours and my subscribers and all this kind of stuff I'm gonna be monetized in the first year I gotta do this 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 and it didn't happen in the first year for me Sometimes it don't happen in the first two years for some people. Some people I've seen, they'd be like, I'm in three years, I'm still not monetized. Y'all, you got to stick to it, I'm telling you. You got to post more than one time a week. If you can do two, okay, great. But if you can get three in there, do that. <laughs> because the more you post, the more people will hopefully get your videos, the more YouTube will probably put your videos out there. Post more one time a week, y'all. That's not enough. One time a week turns into four times a month. So you're posting four times in 30 days. I didn't think about that when I was posting once a week. I was like, at least once to once a week, as long as I'm consistent, I'm good, y'all. It was not enough. Once a week is not enough. I'm gonna say it again. Once a week is four times a month. Not enough. Sorry, it's just not. All right. So. The next one, don't give up. Now, once in my journey did I ever want to give up, even when I didn't monetize my first year, even after I hit my year and started losing watch hours, I never wanted to quit because I knew if I stuck with to it, it I would monetize. Y'all, this is very true. Not one time in this whole two years did I ever say, I think I'm going to quit YouTube. I think I'm ready to give up because it's taking too long or it's not, not going as fast as Not once. Nobody can tell you guys that I ever uttered the words I think I'm gonna quit I want to quit I don't want to do it no more nothing at all like that I knew it was gonna get hard and it did it got disappointing it got aggravating it got all of the things you can think of but not once did I want to give up because I like I said I knew that I was gonna monetize my channel I knew I was there was not a doubt in my mind that I was not gonna monetize my channel and it's because I knew I wasn't gonna give up it's because I knew that I was going to keep going and keep figuring out ways to get more views or get get something else to monetize my channel. I never thought about giving up because you're never going to monetize it if you give up. So that's the first thing. But then, you know, paying attention to your channel and things like that. And it's like, OK, what else can I do to get something else out of my channel to monetize more of my channel? What else can I do? I was always thinking. What else can I do? It never left my mind the whole time I have been doing YouTube. Believe in yourself even when no one else does. Share your videos even when no one interacts with your posts. Keep posting. Trust me, your target audience will find you. This right here is, this is what I was talking about in the beginning when I said I was posting all on Facebook and didn't care who felt how about it. I did not because like I said, if you're on my page, then you it's just because you're wanting to stay here. So I'm going to post. I might tag you. But I'm going to post all the freaking time. I could have made a post and somebody not say one thing on there. No like, no comment or whatever. I didn't care. I would share it again and reshare it or re I would completely repost it the next day. Y'all, I did not let that phase me. And I kept in mind when people would always say it's not going to be your family, your friends, your people that know you that are going to blow you up or monetize your channel. It's going to be strangers. Are people that don't know you and that's ended up that's what it ended up being because it's gonna take hundreds of thousands of people to get you to where your channel needs to be to monetize and do you know hundreds of, hundreds or thousands of people I don't so I knew that's what it was gonna take or whatever so I still kept posting so the people that were on my page and stuff could see it but I knew eventually my stuff would get out there for the hundreds or thousands of people to see it and it did so keep posting. And my target audience found me. All my perfume girls out there, y'all found me, sis. And bro, because it's men that watch me too. Y'all found me. I should be embarrassed by my pimple patches that y'all found me. But I'm not. Because we here, okay? <laughs> All right. And at the bottom I put, again, don't niche down. Do what you enjoy. Be genuine and your niche will pick you. My channel is Nadia D. Good luck. Put a heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay you guys so that's i just wanted to come on here and do that really quick that's all i put on there just do what you have to do you guys and don't give up do what you enjoy record what you enjoy come on here to have fun and if anything your personality is gonna attract the people who want to watch you niching down or not 
you will your target audience will find you i am a true believer of that because i feel like mine found me i have not picked a name for us or anything like that i know a lot of people pick names for their people but my name is nadia so i don't know like the name that i go by on different things is nadia d beauty so that's why i always say hey beautiful people i don't know but anyways y'all <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Before you leave, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.